Hello, seniors. I'm glad you are still here listening to an exciting lesson related to life science. I'm Mom De La Sorina, and I'll be presenting to you today's amazing lesson. Are you excited? So do I. So let's make the most out of our class time. Learn while having fun. Animal cells need constant supply of nutrients such as water, oxygen, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and vitamins. They must also eliminate waste products like carbon dioxide and nitrogen-containing compounds. But how it is possible to take place? In single-celled organism, exchange of materials occurs directly with the external environment. However, multicellular animals cannot exchange materials this way. Instead, various organ systems perform functions of exchange. The different parts and organs of each organ system play a vital role in the unique characteristic and function in keeping animals alive. Seniors, our Lesson 6, Organ Systems. This lesson will discuss the unique characteristics of the different organ systems of some animals. It will also give impressions on how some animals from varied habitats differ in their ways of exchanging gases from their body and the environment. It will further illustrate the different digestive systems of some animals and will give you an idea on why some animals can digest food easily than other animals. After you are through with this module, you are expected to Describe the general and unique characteristics of the different organ systems in representative animals and analyze and appreciate the functional relationships of the different organ systems in ensuring animal survival. You have learned from previous lesson how genetic engineering affects the genetic makeup of organisms. There are techniques being applied to have a genetically engineered organism. Though GMOs pose some points of discussion with regard to the disadvantages, still scientists do research in order to enhance yield in agriculture, advancements in medicine, and enforce bioremediation techniques to restore the environment. Generally, this scientific advancement is for the perpetuation of life. The present topic, however, will focus on how animals survive. This lesson explains the organ systems in representative animals. In this way, we can explain how the systems work and appreciate how animals are biologically organized. Organ system is a set of organs that work together to perform an intricate function in the body. The heart, for example, is the main organ of the circulatory system. Let's answer these simple questions. Are there other organs which help the heart in carrying out the task for the function of the circulatory system? Can you name some of them? Can you name other organ systems aside from the circulatory system? Let's take a look at the list of the different and unique organ systems of some animals. Each system is made up of different parts or organs that perform different tasks to carry out a specific function to ensure survival of animals. In the more advanced animals, these are the organ systems. Respiratory, circulatory, nervous, digestive, endocrine, reproductive, muscular, immune, lymphatic, skeletal, and urinary systems. Respiratory system is primarily composed of nose, trachea, lungs, and skin. The organs under circulatory system are heart, blood vessels, and veins. Brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves compose the nervous system. The organs under digestive system are mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, 
small and large intestines. Endocrine system is composed of glands and hormones. While reproductive system is composed of reproductive organs and endocrine glands such as hypothalamus, pineal gland, thyroid, pancreas, and adrenals. Muscular system is composed of skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle, while immune system is composed of white blood cells, antibodies, complement system, spleen, thymus, and bone marrow, while lymphatic system is composed of bone marrow, thymus gland, lymph nodes, spleen, tonsils, and mucous membranes. Bones, cartilage, and ligaments, which are divided into axial and appendicular, axial ligaments such as skull, spine, and ribcage, and appendicular ligaments such as appendages and girdles all compose the skeletal system. While the urinary system is composed of kidneys, renal pelvis, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Our daily activities are made possible due to the function of the different organ systems. The functions of each organ system overlap, and the body of an organism could not function completely without the cooperation of all organ systems, yet each organ system has a distinct and unique characteristics that perform a specific function for the survival of an organism. Let's learn the unique characteristics and functions of the different organ systems. Circulatory system transports nutrients, gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, hormones and wastes throughout the body. Digestive system converts air, food, and water into building materials for living tissue. It also breaks down food, absorbs nutrients, and eliminates wastes. Lymphatic system destroys and removes invading microbes and viruses, and it removes fat and excess fluids from the blood. Muscular and skeletal system provide structure and mobility or movement, and even controls the movement of materials through some organs. The nervous system relays electrical signals, directs behavior and movement, and helps control physiological processes such as digestion, circulation, respiration, etc. The reproductive system manufactures cells that create and support new life. Endocrine system regulates hormones and relays chemical messages throughout the body. Respiratory system provides oxygen and gas exchange between the blood and the environment. Urinary and excretory system filter wastes, toxins, excess water, and nutrients from the circulatory system. The different organ systems work together to perform different tasks to ensure survival of animals including humans. While resting, the pulse rate usually ranges from 70 to 100 beats per minute. But when you do things that require more energy, the heart pumps faster to supply your blood enough oxygen that your body needs. The heart is the central organ of the circulatory system. It is like a two-pump in one. It is a little larger than your fist that continuously forces blood through the lungs and then through the arteries capillaries, and veins that make up the rest of the circulatory system. The right side of the heart receives blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs, while the left side of the heart receives blood from the lungs and pumps it out to the body. The expansion and contraction of the heart as it sends blood through the body is your heartbeat. The average heartbeat is about 100,000 times every day, pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood. The heart pumps the blood and with the assistance of the blood vessels in the circulatory system, it distributes the oxygen-filled blood to the different parts of the body. It also collects waste products and delivers it to the kidney of your excretory system and lungs of the respiratory system for waste disposal. 
It supplies the brain with blood carrying enough amount of oxygen and in return, the brain regulates the heart rate and the blood pressure of the circulatory system. The brain in the nervous system is being protected by the bone of your skull, yet it controls the movement of your muscles and bones. When someone smells his favorite food, the brain recognizes and interprets giving signals to the digestive system that he is hungry and must eat. Food is broken down by the digestive system into simple substances to enable the body to use them for energy and for future needs and to keep the body healthy. Accessory digestive organs are connected to the main system by a series of ducts such as salivary glands, parts of the pancreas, liver and gallbladder. Most absorption of the digestive molecules into the blood occurs in the small intestine through the villi. The villi contain many small blood vessels called capillaries. When brain in the nervous system transmits signals of being hungry, we can feel painful sensations such as headache and stomach cramps. This time, one must really eat. It is very important that the digestive system is healthy and functioning well. The nutrients from the food we eat is used for energy, growth, and cell repair. If the digestive system fails its function, the process of digesting food into its simplest form for nutrient absorption fails. All other organs also fail in their functions, causing many illnesses in the body of an individual. That was an amazing lesson, isn't it? I hope you learned a lot in today's topic. Thank you for listening and don't forget to take care of yourself by staying at home. See you again next time. Bye-bye.